Hi everyone and welcome to a quick session from me, Michelle Kaira. I'm a Master Personal Trainer, CEO and Founder of Fitmama and I video record some Michelle's Bites, um, try to do it every week <laughs> uh, so that I could just give you an update on all things kind of fitness, um, health and uh, wellness in relation to specifically uh, women who are mothers, which is what my business is all about. Um, in today's session, I just want to go through a really quick and easy way for you to compile and design and create um, a workout at home. Um, I have these cards. I've got lots of them and I'll show you what they look like. Pretty much plain postcard that you would get from a stationery shop, um, post office, your local um, supermarket. And I split the cards into two. And on the top, I do an exercise which I would probably regard as um, hit or resistance or strength based. And on the bottom, I do something that is more abs or core based, okay? And I write different exercises on different cards all the way through. And then this is a really easy way for me to compile a workout, okay? And I do these in different formats. I do some with an exercise on one side and then a rep count of the same exercise on the other um, and I also do colour coded so this is a red exercise, a blue exercise, red, yellow, red, green etc etc. Okay so I do lots of different things with different postcards in order to compile workouts. I also write my workouts like this so 20 reps of one, 20 reps of another, and then on the other side, I also do things like little mini workouts and put in rep counts. Um, why do I go to that, that effort? Well, first up, I'm a, a personal trainer. <laughs> That's my job. Uh, final example, sorry, and this is um, the exercise in full um, from top to bottom. So why do I do this? I do this because one of my personal trainer, and um, often when I'm doing personal training, whether I'm doing it in a group basis, whether I'm filming a video that's going on YouTube, or whether I have a client in front of me, a group class, or if I have um, a one-to-one -one session, um, I will arrive at that point, usually 90% of the time, um, ready to uh, wing it. What I mean by winging it is, if I turn up, especially to a class, and I've got uh, all of my usual clients there, but say 50% of them are just under the weather, colds are hanging about, um, they've got stuffed uh, nasal passages, sinus problems, um, but they've come to the class because they're like, well, I don't feel that sick, so I don't want to miss a class, but at the same time, I'm not feeling full of bounding energy, you know, so this could be a bit of a dodgy class for me to come to. When you've got somebody like that in front of you, you can't put them through the ringer. Um, somebody that's got sinus issues, for an example, will really struggle to do burpees. Um, somebody who has a, a head cold, anything where their head is below their heart or they're doing push-ups or mountain climbers, can get really tough for them. So I go 90% of the time um, ready to wing it, and that means I'm ready to be completely adaptable to who's in front of me, who's picked up a small injury, who is under the weather, who's full of energy, no issues whatsoever. And cards are a really good way for me to do that type of a class. And it's a really good way for me to do my online clients as well. So when I'm doing my online um, sessions for Fit Mama, um, four times per week, there will be a 20 minute workout that I will post. And every single day, there is a daily 10 minute workout. So I've got to be fresh with ideas. And I've also got to be mindful that I don't actually see these clients. These clients are not working out with me. I'm doing a workout for them that they will then do at the park, in their lunch hour, at home with a screaming child. Who knows? I don't know when they're doing the workout and, and what conditions they have. So if I have these cards, I can then be really flexible in terms of what I'm telling them to do. And they could also be really flexible in terms of how they react to that. So that's how online training works really, really well. So the example would be if I gave that card out and did a card workout with cards of the you know, different exercises at the top and the bottom, I could then say, OK, today we are doing a timed based workout. I have five cards. I want to spend a minute on the top, a minute on the bottom. Five cards, um, that would equal 10 minutes for that uh, session. And if you do a 10 minute workout and then have another 10 minutes to spare, just repeat the workout again, okay? That means there's zero pressure on rep counts. That means that when you see a Spider-Man in a B sit-up, 
you're not thinking, okay, I need to put through 30 Spider-Men and 60 sit-ups. It means that I will say, okay, you've got a minute to do as many Spider-Men as you can and a minute to do as many technique correct V sit-ups. You could then say, that's great. I'm feeling under the weather just now. So I'm going to do a modified version of Spider-Man, which Michelle is demoing for me. And I'm going to just hit a target of whatever I can manage. I'm not going to worry about the rep count. I'm just going to look at one minute on my watch and I'm going to do that. Even better is a client who looks at that and says, actually, I know that I could cope with 40 seconds of that workout and then I need to take a 20 second break before I go on to my next minute of a workout and I'm going to carry on in that vein. Even better is somebody who says, I'm really good at abs today and core work, but I'm not so good at doing anything that's high intensity. So I'm going to do 30 seconds of the high intensity exercise, take a 30 second break to recover and do a full minute of the abs and core. And then I'm going to go straight into the next round. So when I do a card based workout, it means that I can be super flexible and give the exact exercises carefully work in upper body, lower body, full body, abs and core, um, strength training, resistance, hit, whatever it is I design for that overall workout. But I also am given ownership to whomever is watching the video for them to say, love the exercises, but I'm not too sure that I could do the rep count or the time count today, okay? On the other side, sorry, I'm getting really uncomfortable with where I'm sitting. On the other side, I then have clients who are super fit, and they can then turn around and say, okay, um, I see she's put sit-ups on here. Um, I'm going to do um, super sit-ups, uh, which are roll down stands up with jumps. That's what I'm going to do for my sit-ups. Um, I'm going to do sit-ups with a medicine ball because I've got some kit at home. Um, I'm going to do a sit-up with a twist to the side. So every time I come up, I'm going to do a twist, okay? So there's various different ways for somebody who is feeling super fit for them to say, mm, I'm going to adapt to this workout. So my advice to you would be, if you are getting to the point where you understand exercises, you understand the dynamics of what exercises work, you've got a really good grasp of the exercises that Fit Mama does, which are body weight exercises, then you could turn around and say, okay, I'm gonna start compiling and writing out these um, exercise cards. And then you could get to the point where you're doing something like this. Shuffle, 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 random card, take it out, that's the exercise that I'm gonna do, okay? So there you go, there's a top tip on how you can keep your exercising really cheap and affordable and also with a great amount of variety um, and also to mix up and make sure that you are keeping it fresh because we want to keep it fresh. Hope that was good for you. Good luck guys, let me know how you get on.